bisa jalan baling-balingnya di atas namanya airboat ini ini bukan buat yang biasa Tap. ada bilang bapak belaknya gini gak sih kenceng friends it's me again Julius thank you for visiting this channel in this episode I should have made a video about building Douglas DC3 but unfortunately I ran out of 3 millimeters foam board so you remember this one this is a Bombardier CL415 I haven't fly this seaplane from water yet because I need one thing just one thing It is a RC boat, RC rescue boat, because I think just in case it has malfunction in the middle of the lake or fail takeoff or crash landing, I can salvage and recover this seaplane with RC boat and bring back to the shore. This is my RC boat. I already made one. You can see here there's a three crew in there crew and propeller cage, the rudder. It has LED lights. Okay. I think the the easiest model you can make RC is RC boat because you just have to make it float at propulsion and at rudder and that's it easy you can make a nasi boat but the easiest of the easiest is RC airboats because you don't have to make the shape of the hull the correct shape like uh, the ordinary boat that you can slice the water you just have to make it flat for the airboat and Propeller and rudder, all moving parts, are all above the hull. So the hull is completely closed and there is no holes whatsoever, no holes from the propeller or the rudder shaft. So it easy to make easier to make it watertight like this one. Okay. And the most important thing, you can use the RC plane parts for making airboats. Okay, this RC airboat is model from the real airboat. It is a 18 foot sportsman from 1000 Island Airboats. It's a US company from Wisconsin. Uh, the, the main parts, the main shape of the parts is easy to make. I think it's easy to make. But the, the detail is a bit challenging because like this one, the proper cage, it's a bit painstaking process. And this is not done yet because it has already vertical lines wire, wire. I still need to add a horizontal one. Okay, let's build this beautiful RC boat. The plans is free and you can download it at paper-replica.com. Just check description for direct link. Click the arrow just right beside the video title to open description box if you are using mobile phone. If you are using desktop, click show more link on the short descriptions below my channel name. Combine the cards together into one part according to the parts number. and then trace it onto 5mm foam board I use 5mm polyfoam or depron foam and finally cut the foam with cutter knife
follow the steps to build the hull of the boat. Place the second former on the beginning of the curved outline on the base. And the last formers in the middle. Curve the wall for the hull on the metal pipe while heating it first with heat gun. Attach the wall to the base, one side at a time. Here I begin with starboard side or the right side of the hull. Don't glue the bow yet, glue the port side first like this. And then step by step glue the bow part. Hold still the part and wait at least one minute before move to other part of the bow. Sand the top hull edges so they are at the same level from stern to bow, like this. Apply hot glue on bottom corners of the hull to close any gap. Make it watertight. Close the top of the hull with foam like this. Add another two layer of 5 mm foam on top of the hull. In here I use hot glue. I recommend to use foam glue instead. Complete the hull build with carving the edges with knife and sand them like this. For smooth result, use wet sandpaper. Follow the steps to build the cabin. Sand the top edges like this to be able to receive the roof part better.
Okay guys, I think I lost uh, some footage. What? The videos that are uh, explaining how to attach the cabin to the hull like this. This is the cabin and how to make the hull on this hull. It lost, I don't know where I, I can find them on my hard disk and so don't worry I already made simple animation no. okay and I will I will be more, more careful next time and it won't happen again in future I hope okay check this out okay this is the cabin I just made and then attach the windshield I use 0.3 millimeters mica plastic don't glue it yet just tape it with masking tape like this now glue the cabin on top of the hull like this you can see the cabin place and measurement on the plants Cut the top of the hull by following the outline of the cabin, including the windshield like this. And then remove the two layers of cabin bottom like this. Remove the windshield and cover it with Oracle stickers. I use 651 Oracle vinyl stickers. After the cabin already covered, cut the windows out. Paint the cabin with dull black or made black, and then glue the windshield to the cabin. Also add mica plastic on the side windows. Also cover the hull with vinyl stickers. You can also use packing tape. Use dark yellow color for stickers or paint. This is the motor mounting. The assembly process is also lost, so here it is already assembled. You can find out more detail about it on build instruction on my website. It's made out of 3mm plywood. Here I use an old motor in my inventory. It is a Turney G1200 KV bell motor. Paint it with dull black or made black. Attach motor mounting to the hull. Don't forget to peel off any covering before you glue the motor mounting. You can see here I already installed the frame for the motor guard cage. You can see more detail on the plans. Add stickers to the base so it will has the same color as the hull. Make a hole in front of the motor mounting for motor wire to the ESC. I use a cheap 20M ESC. I already make extension for motor wire. I use outdoor telephone cable or outdoor fiber optic cable for making the propeller guard cage. There is three wire in this. I use only the steel wire part. Okay, this is a telephone cable. I usually use the steel wire for the push rod, but for the prop guard cage, I don't remove the cable insulation. Here I am making the part of the propeller cage that will mount it by two rudders. You can see the detail drawing about this prop cage on the plants. I use hot glue for temporary glue. 
and then finalize the joint with sewing thread and CA glue for stronger bond. Use roll of plastic or small plastic straw as a shaft hinge for rudders. You have to use waterproof material for this. Glue the rudder to the hinges. Add control horns to the rudders. And then attach a connector wire so both rudder can move together in the same direction. Paint your servo with black to make it match the color seam and to make it waterproof. Attach the servo in the center of connector wire like this. And then make a hole near the servo to insert the wire inside the hull. I use elastic thread to tie the connector wire to the servo arm. Continue making propeller cage. Apply decal with vinyl stickers. Here I am making dummy exhaust pipe with cables. and a dummy radiator.
I'm going to make cruise for the airboat. I'm not making a detailed figurines, I just need like a silhouette of them. A glimpse or the sense that there are crews in there, if you know what I mean. With that, it will feel more alive when we see them aboard a moving airboat. I use mainly styrofoam block for the figurines. I add LED lights with navigation lights LEDs. I just use four of them and hide the rest inside the hull. There are two LEDs on top of the prop cage, one in cabin ceiling, and one on top of the cabin. It looks stable in the water. First, I need to trim the rudder. Oh, I You can see here the front is a bit submerged into the water. Maybe if I move the battery back, it will improve. It's time to check if there's any leak on the hull. Yes, it's dry and there's no water inside. Okay, move battery to the back. Back in the water again. After moving battery to the back, the boat performed better than before. The control is better, the speed is better. Yeah. 
I hand over the control to my son. Now he is steering the boat and I handle the camera. bisa bapak itu oh kayak tank oh kayak tank persis nggak apa apa Terus saya lagi terus terus. I'm back on the control again and hand over the camera to my daughter.
ke jalan baling-balingnya di atas namanya airboat ini itu bukan buat yang biasa Stop. ada bilang bapak belaknya gini gak sih kenceng Ambil dia, ambil. Belok belok dia nak akan ke Bali. Bapa kaya waktu itu ada masuk ke dalam lumpur itu. Jadi nak kita pulang. Okay, enough for today. Let's check the hall again. Kering, nggak ada, nggak ada, nggak ada air sama sekali. No water, no leak, no leak, no water. It's time to review this airboat, this project. I'm very satisfied with the, with this project because it looks very scale above the water, and the movement also scale like the real thing. I'm not a speed guy or, or speed freak. I'm just a scale guy. I like scale model, so the speed is perfect. It's enough like the real thing. And there is there are some modification that needs to be made. The first one is, it is a rescue boat, so it needs to be able to reverse. This is not, this is cannot reverse. So I need to add more parts to reverse this boat on the future episode maybe. And then the second one, the rudder. The rudder need more reflection because when there is strong wind, it affects uh, the boat movement and the travel of the rudder not enough to to steer the boat uh, smoothly uh, or properly. And one more thing, the salvage process or recovery process is not covered in this video. Maybe in the in the future video, including the modification, the two modification. And that's it, guys, for this project. It already finished. Okay, the next project will be the Douglas DC3 part one and if you like this model and you like this project please click like and comment subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet click the bell button so you can be notified if I have new project like this and if you want to donate me there's a link on the description and if you are not you can share my video like and thank you for supporting me all this time and see you in the next episode.